So this is how we're gonna get over the winter blues together. I try to have things to look forward to in my routine or switch things up. Don't underestimate the power of the good basics and getting the basics right. So you're repressed because of the winter? Don't worry, I am too. So this is how we're gonna get over the winter blues together, okay? So I am red, like my nose is red. I sound like I have a cold. It's gray around. You're seeing snow on the ground. It's cold, like, and I'm not even dressed well for the weather. I'm not. And I'm walking home, which I probably shouldn't be doing. I should be probably taking a train, but I need to be out of this weather as soon as possible. And the train is gonna take too long. And I haven't been this cold in a minute, so why not vlog, <laughs> right? I just finished the gym. I'm on my way home. It's probably around 12 now. It doesn't look like over. I'm like, hmm, everyone's suffering. So the first step is dressing warm. And it's, let's just look at my outfit. This is not dressing warm, guys. <laughs> but let me go inside. Let me get warm. Let me get out of this cold. Let me start feeling my fingertips again before I tell you why it's not warm. Okay, so we're back home, or inside rather. It is freezing outside, like Michigan type cold. And Michigan type cold is like the type of cold that you just stay inside for, or you just wear, you wear proper <laughs> clothes for, and I was not in a proper gear. So let me show you guys what I was in, hold on. My hair wasn't even out, and I had on a hat, which was fine, but I needed to have a scarf on, I didn't have a scarf on. I just had one layer, and it was like a thin sweatshirt, so it wasn't even a hoodie, which, doesn't cut it. This is a very thin jacket. I need to have my puffer jackets on. I only had on like one layer of everything with my jacket, which doesn't work. So surviving the winter, getting rid of the winter blues, dress warm. Like it will save yourself the trouble. It will keep you healthy. You'll not get sick. Your nose won't be running. You won't be congested all the time. I wasn't dressed warm just now. So I feel myself like on thine. Like my fingers even look cold. My nose looks red. You know, I sound stuffy. So first tip, just dress warm. They'll love you for it. Your body will thank you for it. Okay, so speaking of being warm, my package came in from Under Armour. We're gonna open it. I got settled in from the gym, took a shower, warming some food. It's gonna be a very, very chill Saturday evening. But I ordered this jacket at the beginning of the year as an investment in my running. So I can still practice. It's for my cold weather running. This is huge. I did not expect this to be this big. Let's see how much of the plastic I can preserve. Oh, wow, this is thick. Okay, so it's like a rain jacket type of thing. This is thick. I did not expect this to be this thick. Okay, because it has layers. All right, so it's kind of like those twin ones where on the inside there's like a fleece. So Benny has one of these. I've always wanted one. I know, I've got one. Inside is like this, inside pockets. And I got a small, I'm usually a extra small. I really got this for running because this part has like some lining. So I'll wear these separately and wear this top layer infrared. So even this layer keeps you warm. Perfect, definitely gonna do that. And this was a pretty penny. It was like 116, I was on sale which is good. And now I think my running catalog is complete because I have my shirt, my brooks, I have like undergarments, base layers, and I just needed like a nice cold weather running jacket. So let's try it on. So the main thing that has helped me not be depressed in the winter is quite literally not only dressing for the weather but just accepting the fact that I'm not gonna be warm, it's not gonna be sunny for a couple of months. Like this is quite literally how the weather looks. Like you can barely see the sun. Oh there's the sun. Yeah that's how it looks and I just accepted it and that makes the summer and the spring just that much more exciting because I've waited so long for it. 
Okay, so the other thing that helps me to get over winter depression is the fact that I try to have things to look forward to in my routine or switch things up. Seattle is very dark. Actually, everywhere is dark in the winter. Luckily for me, I can work remotely sometimes on like Fridays. I'll meet up with a friend or I'll just work remotely out of a coffee shop. Hey, here we are. That's really good. Yeah, so I'm meeting up with a friend today and getting some work done for the Friday afternoon. Okay guys, so I'm probably almost at three miles. My favorite part of the run. This is such a beautiful view. Anyway, let me hold my phone tight so it doesn't fall. <laughs> We're almost finished. Nine guys, percent. the dog is tired. Okay, so another thing I wanted to mention <laughs> about winter wellness is getting out of the house. All of this stems from dressing warm. So I went for a run. I tap gloves, my first layer, well, my mid layer, and then like a uh, outer layer on top that kept me warm and like a hat all of that stuff as you can tell i'm pretty tired because i'm breathing like i just ran a couple miles which i did but it really gets your heart rate up i feel way better after i do these runs the endorphins released and all that lovely stuff like you just feel better i know you can be tempted to stay inside <laughs> because outside is cold but i promise you promise you promise you getting up and moving around <laughs> <laughs> you'll feel way better trust me even if it's just going to the gym after a couple seconds in the cool air if you're just warm you're like okay it's fine it's not that bad so that's what's been working for me so i've been trying to do these runs or crossfit on the weekend mornings so either sunday mornings or saturday mornings and i just did 4.35 miles and i am feeling it but it's fine though because i know i'm gonna feel great i'll have the runners high for the rest of the day I think the key to just staying not sad, I'm not even gonna say happy, in the winter is just having a routine. So not necessarily the same routine you had in summer or spring, but just a routine that is going to be conducive to your needs for the winter. So that, for example, I'll show you guys, I need, 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 need to take my vitamins. My routine, I'm trying, is to take my vitamins after like I eat, eat a lunch or dinner. And I have like this liquid that has like elderberry and it's really good and if I feel something coming on then I'll take the wellness formula so like some of my go-to's are all on this like spinning thing honestly I don't take all of them that's there because that rack is for both Benny and I but I do the wellness formula whenever I feel something coming on then I do this is for like focus the ginkgo by Lobo vitamin D because you know I don't want to be sad fiber for me just additional fiber I take zinc because that goes really well with my vitamin C packet. So, oh, my tea is ready. So I'll do the water and the vitamin C, and then I'll make my pill hot. And then, perfect timing, the teas that I drink during the winter. Cause guys, I get sick so easily and it's really sad. If I miss a part of my routine, then like everything is thrown off. So I'm trying to get better with the vitamins. So <sighs> these are all the teas that I have. I have the Echinacea, which is basically the tea version of that liquid that I showed you that purple liquid and then throat coat which is for like when I feel <laughs> I have like a sore throat coming on and both of these are basically the same thing so I try to make my little tea and stuff I don't eat as regularly as I need to but basically that's a part of my routine in the mornings when I have time before coffee even to just like drink some warm tea then after I eat I'll take my vitamins so I was gonna take my vitamins but I don't know what I want to Eat. So I think I'm gonna wait till Benny comes back. He makes the best avocado toast. I only have one pear left. So I would like him to make some avocado toast and then afterwards I'll take the rest of my vitamins. But now I'm gonna do the vitamin C. So probably like water cup. Oh. I realized that a lot of the chalky vitamins that are like big pills, I can't take those on an empty stomach. I will throw up, so yeah. We'll take this vitamin C, then I'm gonna put some lemon in the tea that I'm drinking, and then that's gonna prep my stomach for that wonderful avocado toast that we'll have when Betty comes back. 
how many winters have I experienced? I feel like this is my fifth winter. February, like January, February is usually a pretty hard month because you're coming down from the high of the holidays and like, oh, in fall, it was cold, but everyone had something to look forward to, which is Christmas. But now like everyone is just looking forward to spring and summer and it being warm. So just like having your little go-tos, your little routines, understanding the fact that like most animals hibernate or a lot of them do. And I think we do as humans in our own little way. So just understanding that productivity isn't gonna be as high. You're not gonna feel as pumped and giving yourself the grace to just be like that. That's what I'm trying to accept right now, this window. And we are done. Okay guys, the last thing I'll say on this whole thing about winter wellness, it's a bit later now. It's actually February, so it's a bit sunny and not as cold. It's already in a better mood, but nothing can replace the power of just good basics and having a good solid routine. So, did you drink water? Are you sleeping well? Do you get your full eight hours? Are you eating a balanced diet? those things really go a long way so after you double check that your basics are good then you can apply all the hacks and the tips and the tricks so wishing you guys a fantastic winter and a well winter and i'll see you guys in my next video until then with love from chels bye